morning, evening and night time ladies and gents and today we're gonna do a challenge a hardcore challenge where I need to go through all the maps in Tarkov without dying and also while traveling from map to map I cannot use my stash and I cannot use any heals from therapist so let's talk about the rules first main rule of this challenge is to go from the bottom of the map to the top or vice versa so I'll be starting on shoreline go into lighthouse reserve factory customs and then interchange I'm gonna skip woods first of all because I hate the map uh, fuck woods and secondly it doesn't make sense uh, territory wise like if you go from reserve to factory and then you go to woods then you go to customs like you, you you're going in loops it doesn't make sense so we're skipping woods and whenever I am extracting from one map I have to go straight into the next map. I cannot use my stash. I cannot drop the gear. I cannot drop the loot. I cannot get any additional bullets. I cannot heal using um, therapist. I can only use what I have on me from the first raid onwards. And that's it. The rules are very simple, but they make gameplay way more fun. Also, to have at least some sort of accomplishment, I need to visit the main attractions on every single map. So on Charlene, I have to go to resort. On Lighthouse, I either have to go to the Rogue, uh, compound, lighthouse, or the villas. On reserve, I have to go either to the like one of the main buildings or D2. Factory, I have to go to the office area. Customs, I have to go to dorms or crack house or the new construction area. And on interchange, I have to visit the mall. So those are the main rules, and let's see how it goes. But right before we start, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Things like these do help a lot with video promotion, and I appreciate that a lot. So thank you very much in advance, and uh, enjoy the video. In my first raid, I spawned next to the resort, so I thought it was going to be a quick walk. In and out, and straight to the extraction. I don't know if I don't know if pre-pain killing is a good idea, chat. It will help me to survive, but I also need to eat and drink. And if I find no water and no food, that's going to be really bad for me. In the future. After checking for the red key card and getting nothing, I decided to get some loot from the room 301. I need to remember that... <laughs> Shoreline is not the only map I'm gonna be looting. I'll be looting other maps too. After checking for bosses and non-fighting them, I decided to loot a couple of safes and duffel bags inside the weather station, since I made it that far anyway. Good to know that my aim is on point, no need to warm up. Can I get a bottle of water? Imagine if you fight and you have a black head with the bleeding, that's not gonna be cool. That's not gonna be cool at all, right? Loaded a couple of bullets into my mags while extracting, <laughs> and off to lighthouse we go. Alright, I gotta I gotta heal myself, chat. I'm not full HP, I gotta heal. Yo, SKV, thank you so much for the gift it's up to That's a bad beginning. Is it out my thing? It was the beginning of the end. Back to shoreline we go. Escafe. If you got the gifted sub, make sure you thank our generous friend chat. Absolute unit. Thank you. And again. And again. And again, back to fucking Charlene. Hmm? You thought we were done with Charlene? You know what, Next raid, I decided to change my approach and we're playing nighttime. At nighttime, there are less players, they can see me as well, so it should be easier to survive, right? Close to daytime, you know? Is this guy abusing the... I 
I mean, there is a way to abuse fast peaks. There is a way to do really fast peaks by abusing the game's animations, and that's exactly what the guy was doing. So I decided not to fight him, not to risk my gear, and just load the room and leave. And you'll be All right, shoreline done. Damn, look look at this shot, so much brighter. I'm loving it. Didn't want to take no chances. <laughs> Paid actor? Eh, I'm not paid actor. If he picks me like this, that's not a paid actor, chat. And he folded. Cra cra Crabozar. Crabozar? Crabozar was Rex? Like, like, uh, pfft, I, uh, bro, when my bullets land, like, it doesn't look like there's a huge drop. It's like one bar, maybe two bars. The guy's sniping from behind. Oh man, I also need to kill that one. Fuck. Oh, come on, man. He wasn't even aiming at me. Yeah, tough luck for me. Seems like this challenge is a bit harder than I thought. So yeah, we went back to Shoreline. I killed a couple of players, looted them, extracted. And right before extracting, I decided to pop a green flare. Simply because it looks cool. Lighthouse went pretty easy as well. I killed a couple of rogues on the roof, a couple of rogues on the ground, Looted them and extracted. There was no PvP, no players around, and it was an overall a pretty quiet raid. Reserves started pretty quietly as well. I looted some boxes, got some food, rehydrated, and went towards extraction. Never mind. Oh my lord, bro. Seriously? That's the answer. I was fighting like a lion, but you can't win them all, can you? This raid on Shoreline, I decided to take it safe, so I started with checking for the red keycord and looting some rooms. Any objectives on the map? I want to visit the main attractions, so Shoreline I have to go to resort, customs I have to go to dorms, etc, etc. If there's a couple of main attractions, I can go to either of them. One is enough. What if you find red or something? Uh, then I just find red, nothing changes. Like, if I want to leave my red keycard in, in the stash, I can do it, but it's gonna reset the challenge. Shoreline was pretty quiet, and I made it to the extraction. Spawning at this area on the lighthouse was like a present from Nikita. I could just go into the villa, loot them and extract, since villa does count as one of the main attractions of the lighthouse. This is one of the main attractions. So I guess we're not killing the rogues this time. Oh, a vertex. Damn. This challenge is cool, it's cool, but it's difficult. It's taking me way, way longer than the last wipe. I think last wipe I finished it on my first try, like actually first try chat. This time I've been trying for hours and 
Still on the second map only. On reserve, there is only one main attraction for me, which is D2 Bunker. I love playing around D2 for a few reasons. First of all, PvP there is kind of fun, because it's close range. Secondly, you can farm raiders. And thirdly, if there is nobody there, you can just loot the boxes, get some fed loots, and extract. Why is he CMSing? After killing these NPCs, I decided to loot them and leave. I mean, there is enough loot, we've got some PvP, time to go. Oh, because pelicans have huge bills, yeah, yeah, yeah. Factory was pretty much self-explanatory, not much to say. Because the new stuff, Boruto, Naruto, next Naruto Next Generation, or is it called Boruto Next Generations? Man. 99% of Boruto is literally fillers, I stopped watching it. But out of uh, animes which I enjoy the most, it's probably Death Note. Yeah, I, I would outline Naruto and Death Note. I haven't seen too many. If you're an anime fan, feel free to share your favorite one in the comments down below. Whenever I get some free time, I'll make a list of uh, your recommendations and try to watch it. Cheeky Bricky down? I don't know if he was solo. Fuzzy Brett. Thank you so much for the ninth month. Manzu kick? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Maybe he was about to loot the safes and steal my loot. You never know. Car manual? I can't even drive chat, I don't have the I don't have the license. Like DPS are the guys which stop you on the road, ask for your documents, etc etc. Strong, Axel Strong. After showing off how alpha male I am, we're going to the last map for today, Interchange. I spawned an Interchange right next to Oli. I thought it was gonna be a good plan, check Oli, loot the PCs, bridge for GPU, maybe get some oh, PvP no, or PvE right. depending if I find any scavs, killer or players, and then I would go back and take Uber as I was already getting pretty tired and uh, kind of getting tilted because of my first few raids as they were really annoying uh, that's the way it went uh, holy did he just close the door and face through it? what a cheeky fella Scav, scav, scavaronis. <laughs> He's like, I'm just gonna walk away. He just stopped shooting and started walking away. Poor fella. This is more or less it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you would love to see more hardcore challenges from me, let me know down in the comments below. Maybe I should just start a hardcore account and uh, level up to max shatters using using hardcore rules. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.